Hi, everybody. We're live. Thanks for joining us on Thyroid Refresh. This I'm Dan. This is Dana Bowman, or I'm Dana Bowman, co-founder <laughs> of Thyroid Thirty, along with my amazing partner, Jenny Mahar. Hi. We're so glad to be here with you guys this morning, and with Stacy Robbins. Welcome, Stacy. Good morning. Thank you so much. We have so much to tell you guys about today. We have a big announcement to make with Stacy that we're so excited about. And uh, before we dive in, we want to let you guys know that today we opened our spring enrollment for Thyroid 30. So if you'd like to learn more or go ahead and get signed up, you want to go to thyroidrefresh.com slash thyroid 30. This is our amazing 30-day wellness adventure. Um, Stacy participated with us last season, and it's just a great platform. We're going to be talking about that more today and hearing Stacy's honest review. So we're excited about that. Hopefully, it's a good one. <laughs> and Jimmy and I created this because we wanted to put the fun, put some fun into healing because it's it's kind of not. So um, we we love this game, and we'd love for you to join us. So. Um, okay, before, are you going to do, a, are we going to do um, an announcement for, for next week or anything, Jenny? I mean, no? Well, no. yeah, we just wanted to let you guys know that we have some fun things in store um, for this coming week because Thyroid Refresh turns one next Wednesday, mm. March 20th, which also happens to be the first day of spring. This is a great time for new beginnings and we've got thyroid 30 spring enrollment open and the doors of thyroid refresh have been open for one whole year. So we are going to be having a birthday party next Wednesday back here on Facebook live at, uh, I think 9am Pacific 10 mountain, 11 central, 12 Eastern, and keep your <laughs> eyes peeled because we will be having a little giveaway. We'll post about that on our Facebook and Instagram um, pages. It'll be really easy to enter. You'll like have to just enter a comment. You'll you'll see the details, but um, just something fun to celebrate our our first birthday. Yeah. So yeah. And for some fun, special, exciting news, we want to let all of you know that Stacy Robbins has joined Thyroid Refresh Thyroid Thirties team as the as an advisor and. We couldn't be more excited. She brings so much knowledge and warmth and inspiration to the team. And we are so glad to have you, Stacey. Thank you so much. Yay. You Yay. girls are super fun. And I believe, <laughs> I believe in you. <clears throat> I believe in the work that you're doing. I believe in the need being there. And um, I love that quote. And I can't remember the quote who, who said it exactly. But I, it's, you know, when your gifts when your greatest gifts meet the world's greatest needs, you know, that's where our mission and our work is. <clears throat> and you guys have taken your gifts and you've met the thyroid community's needs in such beautiful ways with such excellence, with such heart, with such dedication, with such investment. And so, you know, before you, I, I love the serendipity of this, um, that before you asked me to be on your your advisory board. When I was walking around in Italy after my retreat this past year, I was in the town of Ravallo where my family was from. And I thought like, here I am turning 50 in the town where my family is from in Italy. And I wanted to, I just did an inquiry, like, who can I serve? Who can I bring forward in the world? Who's doing a really great work. And you guys were the first people who came to mind. And so then it was like a month later or so that you had that meeting with me and asked me to be on the board. And it just felt like such synergy because it was already in my heart. It was already in my spirit. It was already in my commitment. And um, so to be asked was just sort of the, um, just the kind of the culmination. So that was sweet. So my belief was in you before you asked, because I've seen how, I see how easy it is to flounder in our thyroid healing journey. I see how easy it is to feel loose, like your days on, are unform, uh, unformed because you're so busy, like either just trying to make it through the day or like this day is so much different than yesterday because you ate a food that three days before that, that's finally affecting you. You're just like, oh my God, I just, where can I find some structure, form and order, form, order and beauty? Those are things that are value to me, having form, order and beauty. And so um, you guys have created something with Thyroid Refresh and with Thyroid 30 that has all of those elements that can take that really loose, untethered healing journey and, and put it in a container that kind of makes you feel that safe, loved and, and expressed and supported. So 
I'm excited to talk about that more, but wow. I just wanted people to know, um, yeah, the big deal that that is for me to say that because that's what's true to me. Well, that's and so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you're really. welcome. Um, and before we kind of dive in, I want to tell all the listeners who don't know Stacy, I can't imagine those you know people who don't. But if you don't, I want to tell everybody a little bit about you. Stacy um, lives life by inspiration. That's true in, in all aspects of everything she does. As an integrated wellness coach, speaker, and author of An Unconventional Life Where Messes and Magic Collide. She's also the author of a fabulous book, which I love. She's got a favorite part in my favorite part in the book. Um, about the orange cones, you're not crazy and you're not alone, which is an amazing, amazing um, book on healing and life and fun for Hashimoto's. She also has an app. It's a daily inspiration app called Bloom Beautiful. She creates experiences through her international retreats in Italy, like she was talking about in workshops, empowering women to live from what she calls their brave soul place. I just got goosebumps. She resides mm -hmm. in Southern California. Uh, with her author, tech geek, musician, husband, and their two amazing curly-haired teenage sons, who you've probably seen if you're in her group, uh, Girlfriend's Guide to Hashimoto's. Welcome, Stacy. We are so glad to have your brilliance um, with us. So, just Truly, we feel a bit so, about you. so blessed to add you to this team. Your, your wisdom, your sense of humor, and <laughs> you just have such a special, deep emotional intelligence. And this is an emotional ride for us, isn't it? You know, this long journey. So we're just so happy to, to bring you into the thyroid refresh family. I mean, you were already there, but you know, to add you to our advisory board feels like a really big deal to us. And we're just so thrilled to have you. So thank you for being a part of this and welcome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so happy to be with you girls. And I love the work that you're doing. And like I said, I see the need that's out there. So thank you for welcoming me. Awesome. Woohoo, I love all the little messages. People. I'm like, how <laughs> I do know, isn't do it that? fun? I'm like, seriously, right? me and technology. And I'm, can you just give me a vain moment? Because I feel like you all have beautiful lighting and I feel like I'm in a cave. Am I in a cave? I don't I, think so. Am I dark? Scoot over a little bit. If oh. I did that... Oh. That That's feels, a little better. That oh, feels yeah. better to me. Yeah. Don't, look in, don't look in the other room where it's really messy, though. Okay. Right. Now you just you went <laughs> you over. You were messes. in the middle. You got to okay. get. What is it about the middle? Okay. Is that know. it? Is that more the middle? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I won't move. Yeah. Okay. So. You gotta move. <laughs> Because I was so, like, you all look bright and cheery and young. I want to look bright, cheery, and young. I can't figure <laughs> out. These are my technology girls. I know zero or like zero to oh, five. Oh, man. I don't <laughs> know about my that. experts. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> well, you've got the sunshine on your face now. So looks good. We, we were so um, excited to have you participate in Thyroid 30 with us last season. Stacy was in our winter wellness adventure. So um, we would love if you could kind of share with the listeners – what was that like for you? How did you find it? What did, what helped you? What was your thyroid 30 experience that you want to share with people today? Sure. I'm happy to share. I, I want to reiterate something because I think there are a lot of women out there like me, like if they can't figure out something on their phone or they comp their computer, they find the resident teenager, you know, mm -hmm. like who, who's a teenager in my life who can show me how to use my technology. Right. I don't know how many right. of you are like that. I mean, I'm so that way. And so when I hear that there's a new online program, I'm like, great, I want all the benefits of that, but will I be able to jump through all the technological hoops? Because I get intimidated, I get afraid. And so I, um, I pressed through because I love Dana and Jenny and I knew they had created something really wonderful. So I, I say that to all of you out there who are intimidated like I am, they're like, oh, great. Oh, I have to figure out how to use my computer. So I just want to speak to you out there because I'm like you, intimidated, and also a brain fog. I don't know how many of you guys deal with brain fog as one of your thyroid symptoms, but holy cremoly, it is like really strong for me when I'm in a flare or when I'm in hormones or when I ate a wrong food or something. A suddenly new wrong food. It wasn't a wrong food a couple of weeks before, but then suddenly it is. And then you're left with brain fog and consequences. And you're like, I don't know how to run my life or have any machinery or my phone. So I say that because to all of you who feel intimidated and like it's not an easy thing, I want to let you know you can do this. How do I know? Because I did it. So, <laughs> um, so my experience on thyroid refresh, um, 
uh, on thyroid 30, excuse me, is that I found it to be a really supportive space where the elements that I care about and know after 25 years of dealing with Hashimoto's are of important value to address because it's addressing, you know, how are you doing with your hydration? How are you doing with your movement? How are you doing with all of those things that your food and your communication and your, are you being supportive? Are you putting good um, information into your system that you, maybe you don't know something about like thyroid 30 had all of the elements that are really, really important to check in on. And, um, and what I love is that, You guys took the tedium out of healing and you put the fun into healing as if that's even possible. You found a way to make it possible because you made it a game and you made it a short term game. Because if somebody says to me, you have to do something the rest of your life, I'm like, no, I don't know if I can do it. Me neither. Oh my gosh, I can't even commit to the piece of gum that's in my mouth right now. You know, like it's hard. (laughs) So, but if you tell me I can do something for 30 days and it's going to be fun and I'm going to get the benefits of taking care of myself. I'm like, okay, I could do that. Okay. I could do that. Oh, and by the way, you're not alone. If you don't want to be, you can join a team. So for those of you who don't know what thyroid 30 is, it's a game experience online for 30. I'm going to tell it if that's okay. Yeah. Can yeah, I go tell it for it? You're doing great. I'm, for it. I'm, yeah. new, I'm new to it. So if I can communicate it, that means I got it. And anything you need to fix, you can fix and correct and then spank me later. So, um, <laughs> thyroid 30 is a 30 day experience. That is a game that has Eight elements, am I right? Eight elements Mm -hmm. that you need to or need to that are there for you to check off every day and be sure that you have done as elements of your self-care. And they're really groovy little things you mark off and you get that like super good hit in your brain of like, I did something, I did something, I did something. Oh yeah, I did something. Because you know, the truth is when you're healing, you can go through the, your whole day where you took care of your kids, you fed everybody, you walked around bumping into walls because you had brain fog. Um, you went to yoga, you, you made sure the dog, you know, didn't have a burst bladder. You took him out. Like you did all those things. But at the end of the day, like kids are still hungry. The kitchen's a mess. The dog has to go out again and you still don't feel well. And you can go I don't think I did anything today. Mm -hmm. And so it's really nice to have a measurement of these are the eight things that I did toward me for me. And not only that, I got to connect with other women who are on this journey too. And so, uh, you know, you write little encouraging notes to each other or you hear what someone went through and then, and when someone's a little down, you get to like help support them. And when someone had a success, you can celebrate them and you get to kind of find the strength inside of yourself and take the strength of others and, and utilize all of that and in this community experience for 30 days. And it's a great way to either kickstart or take to the next level your healing experience with your thyroid, whether it's Hashimoto's or Graves' disease or hypothyroidism, whether you're doing it naturally, whether you're doing it on medicine, like you, you don't have to fit a certain category. If you're a if you're a person who has a thyroid issue and you want to take your healing to the next level, you can do it through this experience. So was that sufficient? That was perfect. That, oh, Yay! yes. Yeah. The only Cheerleader. thing I would add is just <laughs> that it is open to men and women. But you I was going to say that. It sorry. just so happens that about 95 to 98% of our audience and our customers are women. So we do, you know, cater to women and it often ends up being, you know, primarily women but anyone is welcome and um I have a good friend who's uh who's male and he has Hashimoto's his name is Sebastian he's a big fan of my other site and um he's gonna play and so you know but you know it is really catered to women um but men are welcome it's really just a you know it's it's for your life it's just a lifestyle support platform at the end of the day so well and it's a tool not you know, the only other thing I wanted to add was it's a tool not just for thyroid patients, but practitioners as well. So people like you, Stacey, who are coaching nutritionists, doctors, integrative nutritionists, you know, functional MDs, naturopaths, the people who are all on this shared mission with us of helping people live well with thyroid disease can use Thyroid 30 as a tool to help their people succeed at making these changes. Like we're not trying to say, this is what you need to do and we're replacing your doctor's advice. It's not that at all. It's like, we all hear these same, we call them the common core tenets of a thyroid friendly lifestyle, right? 
in, you know, the S experts sort of echo these common core tenants, and we took those and put them in one place so that people can implement them successfully and sustainably, not just for 30 days. You know, mm -hmm. you can take baby steps if you want so that you can really lock in those changes and you can always come back to thyroid 30 for another season when you want to make more progress, get back on track. But yeah, yeah. And we it, was, it, it was fun. You made, made it fun. fun. And in my 30 days when I did it, I had, um, I had gotten like not off track with my eating, but I just wasn't as tight as I needed to be. So I made a commitment right be before I jumped onto thyroid 30 that I was going to eat a certain way. And it was really good to be in the container of thyroid 30 because then I did lose those eight pounds, 10 pounds, whatever it was that I had wanted to lose during those 30 days because awesome. I had made my own personal commitment. You weren't telling me to eat a certain way, mm -hmm. but I put it in that container and I felt that support. And there's something like I talk about it in yoga, like yoga class. Like I just went to yoga. I go to yoga three times a week at least. And, and then I walk the other days, but there's something about when I do yoga in my bedroom, I don't quite adjust and make the pose as long as it needs to be or as deep as it needs to be. But when I'm in a class, there's the energy, there's a space held by the teacher and there's the, the other p participants there. And you're like, yeah, I can do this. When you want to give up like 10 minutes into class, you're like, yeah, I want to go home and have a donut. You know, you just keep going because you're in class and you're not going to roll up right. your mat. Right. Whereas if you're exactly. in your bedroom, it's tempting to roll up your mat and go, I'll have that donut. So um, this is kind of like that energy of a group experience that helps you hold to your intentions. Um, and it can help you shape some intentions if you want to. But if you come with an intention of like, I really want to move AIP forward, or I want to move walking or yoga or swimming or making sure I have enough hydration or removing the toxins from my home or whatever it is, if I want to move those things forward, this is a great space to do it with the energy of each other. And did I mention it was fun? <laughs> Good Lord. I mean, yes. that is my favorite part, really, because I just I felt so alone, you know, when I was started my healing journey. And if had I had this when I was living in Costa Rica and I mean, I would have it would have just been a different experience for me. Of course, I learned and I'm grateful for all the things I have and the space I'm in right now. But had I had this, um, it would have been just a different different ball game all the way around. So. Well, I always get, to, like to say the fun part because that's me. I'm fun. We get excited too when it's coming around. Like Dana and I will be in a meeting with each other on Zoom and we'll be going, I really need thyroid 30 to get going again. I fell off the wagon with, you know, dairy or what, you know what I mean? So we use it too. That's really, we knew there was a need because we're on this journey, you know? And one of the coolest things that we've noticed in all the feedback we've gotten is, um, you know, we've spent the last month interviewing participants from our winter wellness adventure and everyone has their, you know, unique experience, but the common thread always was, it's so powerful to connect with other people who get it. And I wanted to ask you, Stacy, like, why do you think that is that maybe we underestimate the power or even the need for community support? on our healing journeys, even on just our life journeys? Well, I think that so many of us, I mean, psychologically, so many of us have come from abusive backgrounds or they've got, we've gotten into a real um, shame cycle. And it's really easy to just be isolated and kind of have that almost, um, you know, where we want to fix everything before we can come out and be acceptable. In, in the community. And I, so I think mm. there's a part of that that's so used to isolation, that's so used to keeping secrets that we even hide in our, in our pain, we hide in our, in our um, unhealth, we hide in our need for healing. And so we're, we're designed for community. We're designed to be with each other. You know, we weren't born on an island. We were born into humanity. So, but when you go through things that cut off your natural inclinations like abuse like trauma like shame those kinds of things then you go against your natural in inclination and you isolate when you really need each other so I think that one of the practices and, and what happens is our feelings don't always tell us the truth so we're like oh no I'm just gonna go fix it and then I'll come out when I'm acceptable and I can go ta-da like the movie Pretty Woman <laughs> you know it's like that's not what happens you know like we all want to lose like I'm going to, I need to lose um, five pounds or 10 pounds or 30 pounds before I put my yoga clothes on to go to yoga class. 
Like that's yeah. not, that's not right. You know, I mean, we need to kind of, it, that cycle is, is difficult to get out of. Yeah. yeah. And we, we see so many before and after pictures in our culture. And so we mm -hmm. kind of want to go, here's my before picture. And then I run away and hide and then I share my after picture. But the magic is really in the stories that happen between mm -hmm. that before and after picture. You know, I've, I've lost almost 100 pounds and I, I've shared that journey very publicly. You guys have all seen me at different pant sizes. You know what I mean? And, um, and that's where the connection, the biggest connections have happened in my life when I've said not I was there, but I am here. And I'm going to let you be you for me. And I'm going to let me be me with you. And I'm going to work it out in community. And I'm not saying we don't have alone times, but I'm saying we sometimes forget that we so need community support. So I think mm -hmm. that that's one of my answers to that question is that kind of like I'll fix it and then I'll show up um, as the star student and um, impress you all, but, and then the shame and then the isolation that comes from abuse. So I think that those are some of the big triggers. Wow. What do you think I, about I that? I knew you were the right person to ask. <laughs> you're so you're so sweet jenny if you live closer i'd kiss you because i'm italian that's so cute oh well, why do you um, guys think do you want to share what you why you guys think we we don't come into community or is did that cover it well or? i think you know one thing you touched on that really resonated with me personally is that tendency to isolate when what we need is the opposite. Mm -hmm. And a good friend said that to me once. Um, this was like 20 years ago, we were in college and she was like, Hey, let's go for a walk. And I was like, I just don't feel like it, you know, PMSing mm. and I'm not feeling, you know, just don't feel like it. And she was like, you know, sometimes when you feel like it, the least is when you need it the most. The most. Absolutely. And you kind of mentioned to us, you know, before when we chatted about this, like, I didn't really think that I needed this, you know, I mean, you're an expert, you you've been on this road for so long, like, how is this going to really help me? And I think sometimes we underestimate having that support, and we don't realize what we're capable of, when we finally do have that support. Mm hmm. You know? I would love to see a lot of the I would love to see our colleagues, my colleagues in this field, I'd love to see them jump in on this, honestly, if I could say that, because I think that that you reach a certain um, position, I think, in in social media world or in the world or in people's minds or even in believing your own press or whatever, you reach a certain level, let's say, where you go, well, I've reach some kind of expert status. And I think we forget that sometimes that we're still in patient status as well. We're still in mm -hmm. woman or man processing status. I'm still like, as I ascend in one area, another area um, gets revealed to me, you know, like, oh, I need to work on this. Okay, I've conquered this part, but man, I really need to work on my this. Okay, so I'm really good with my foods, but I really need to work on my supplements, or I'm really good with my food and my supplements and my movement, but I really need to work on the toxic relationships. Like, I think that even though we might re reach a level of expertise because, and that we wrote books or whatever, but the truth is we're still in process, and I think I'd love to bring the humanity back to some of this, um, the ideas that we have about people who are up in front or the voices of healing, you know, is that mm -hmm. we're also still in process. So I like being involved because it helps me to remember that I'm a whole person. And while I have attained a certain level of knowledge and information on one level, I'm still very much in process on a lot of other levels. And so, yeah. And, and aren't and, we all internally, you know, yeah. it's, it's not like there's really a destination. We're always changing, morphing, new challenges come up, our bodies change. You know, I had, a, a, you'll appreciate this since you're a, a yoga lover. Um, I had a yoga instructor um, way back who really worked with us on thinking of the poses as the transitions, just because we're always really in transition. Don't lock ourselves into this one way, like, oh, well, now I have Hashimoto's, so I eat this way, and this is the only way it's ever going to be. It it's a fluid thing. And I think mm, the more we can kind of move through this gracefully, then mm -hmm. the more, you know, um, get out of it. potential mm -hmm. we have to, to, as we say, live well with thyroid disease. Mm -hmm. um, while we're talking about community and living well, I want to give a shout out to um, 
a couple of the ladies that have, have made some comments. You know, Shelly's here, Kathy Davis is here, Jody was here or is here. And we have a question or a comment um, from someone that I wanted to um, to mention. I think I think her name is Noreen, and she says she's out of shape, no energy, constant neck and shoulder stiffness. Help, I need a miracle. And boy, we feel you. And you know, one of the things I should I want to say to that is. The baby steps matter and they count. And if you are tired and no energy, just like Jenny was saying, you know, sometimes when you least feel like it, it's the best for you, you know, like walking to the mailbox or walking around your couch 15 times or walking down the street or trying to do small things and letting those add up can really help your movement and help your mind go, okay, I can do that. So then maybe I can take five more steps or whatever it is. The baby steps really, really help when you have no energy. That's, yeah. that's my we thinking. We see miracles every time we play Thyroid 30 from people who have made one small change. You know, a lot of times it's just one single dietary change or, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I needed more sleep and I've been paying more attention to my bedtime. And just that little bit of uh, attention and intention was enough to completely change the game for them. You know, um, I have another quick question too, you know, cause we could just keep going on and on and on. We only have a little bit of time. Um, this is a fabulous question. Rebecca says I'll be on vacation during the 30 days. Can thyroid 30 be done while not in my normal routine? Absolutely. Jenny, you want to take that? Yeah. I mean, this is, this is your game, your life and your experience. You can make it what you want. And I think one thing that we've tried to, um, really emphasize in our messaging is like, don't beat up on yourself. It's not about doing this perfectly. It's about progress, not perfection. So if you blow it one day, tomorrow's a new day. It doesn't mean it's ruined. It's, it's just not about that at all. We've had, I've had plenty of people in my teams who have said, I'm about to take a work trip or we're taking a family vacation. And all the teammates are going, enjoy it. Have a wonderful time. Here's some tips on how you can, you know, stay on track with whatever your unique goals are. Um, so there's just that extra support for us to move through the things that life brings like trips and, you know. Yes. <laughs> and some people have careers where they're traveling all the time. And so if we took a mindset of like, oh, well, I have these special events, you know, like, I guess I'll be responsible with my, he my food and my healing and my energy and my sleep after all these special events. Some of us have lives. My life is like one special event after another. If I waited, I would never either lose weight or feel good or whatever. It's like, I, I can't wait until the holidays are over is the point. I can't wait till the vacation is over to take care of myself, but there, and I can still have fun and, and, you know, but not treat it like, okay, I'll just like blow it all out of the water for the next 10 days of vacation or, or two months of business meetings. And then I'll be responsible because I don't want to feel like crap during my vacation. And I don't want to feel right. like crap during my business meetings. So yeah, I think it's a great support for while you're away, you can do it. It's not, it's not strenuous in the sense that you can't eat your food, drink your drink and have your fun. It's that it will help you because you still have to care for yourself when you're on vacation, right? It's, it's, um, that's important too. I want to say a couple of things about the woman who's not feeling well and feeling um, in pain and achy. I just, was that Noreen? I, I just want you to know that I laid in bed a few years ago when I came back from from Italy, I didn't realize I had just gained 30 pounds in two months. I didn't realize that my, my TSH had jumped to a, a 19 instead of a 1.0. My thyroid meds just totally stopped working. I felt like I had shards of glass in my eye. When you say tired and achy and in pain, I go, I go right back to that moment where no one could have talked me out of that feeling. And what I had to do was I had to kind of wait for the meds mm -hmm. to adjust and still do the things I needed to do in the meantime. And that didn't mean go to yoga class, honestly, during that time, because I really did need more rest and my heart needed more support. But I, the thing that I could do is that I still needed to eat. And food is our biggest drug. And I want to tell you this truth. I have felt really awful on a bad diet, bad diet for me, um, when my TSH was in perfect range 
And then there have been times when my thyroid was out of range and out of whack and my diet was super clean for what I needed and I didn't feel the symptoms as much. So I, I guess mm. my, my, if you're dealing with brain fog, I'm going to say it simply. Food is your biggest drug and you take that three to five times a day. So if you will listen in and really be honest with yourself, which the goal for all of us is to listen in. It's not to follow one program or not or to do this or not. It's really to learn to reconnect with what we know is best and true for us in this day, in this season. Listen into what those foods are for you, Noreen, what those basic supplements would be and make that big intention and, and effort like Jenny was talking about and Dana was talking about it and eat those foods, support yourself while you don't feel well, while the meds are adjusting, while you're resting. And those little, bit, those little differences will make a big difference. And within three weeks, I was in a different place. Three weeks. Oh. When, I was gluten, when I wasn't gluten-free, eight years ago, this month, eight years ago, I was still messing around with eating gluten, not eating gluten, eating gluten, not eating gluten. I picked my sister up from LAX. We went to Umami, had a hamburger. I had gone off gluten for like a week. This was my first time eating gluten. My face literally changed and was like a mess when I'm eating the hamburger. And that was my final straw. I was like, that's it. I'm going gluten free. And you know what? I felt better in four days. In four days, after years of feeling awful, four days, I felt better being gluten free. Like you are so close to feeling better. Hang in there. Don't give up. Don't give up on you. Do the smallest things that you can do. And the first place really is your food and your rest. So, and your hydration, food, rest, and hydration. You can eat in bed, you can drink in bed, and then sleep in bed and give yourself some time. Yeah. See? See, guys? This That's is right. why we wanted Stacy on the Thyroid Refresh team. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for that beautiful... <laughs> just you just said it all thank mm -hmm. you and that was um, beautiful we're so excited to have you with us i know that uh you have to get going and we're we need to wrap it up because we're going over time a little bit here but oh we, we only have a certain you. time i love you too but i want people to know they have to sign up for thyroid 30 and that they need to know this that there's an enrollment period so you sign up sign up sign up but then it actually starts on what day what it day? starts on March 31st. But you That's start, but you sign up today and you pay today, yeah. right? And it's a, mm -hmm. it's the equivalent of a dollar a day. Am I saying this right? It's the equivalent of a dollar a day. You are worth a yeah. dollar a day. Okay. You're worth like a million dollars a day, but you might not have a million dollars a day, um, but you're worth a dollar a day. So please like invest in you, take care of you, love on you and sign up and be in community with each other. I'll be there. Like you're going to see yeah. me. So hanging out with my new pants size, you know, whatever, as I reach my, <laughs> reach for my next 10 pounds of loss. I'm, I'm well, so I'm inspired. Close. I'm going to change my pants size now too. You should do thyroid oh, 30. Man. Okay. I think I might, right? <laughs> um, this has been so fabulous. I wanted to mention there was a couple people, Geneva and Aaron, we didn't get to your questions. Maybe you could post it. We can post them on the page and some people can then um, help comment and things that we can do that after the show as well. But thank you everybody for joining us and for the replay watchers. Thank you for watching. Um, and this has been absolutely fabulous. We can't wait till next week for our birthday. Don't forget about thyroid 30 sign up today, thyroidrefresh.com slash thyroid 30. And um, did I forget anything, Jenny? We love you, Stacy. Thank you so yes. much love for you being too. here and on this journey with us. Yeah. We're so excited to have you on the team. Mwah. Over and an hour. Thank you all for watching. Okay, bye. Ciao, bye, ciao. guys.